Right now at 6 o'clock, a disruption of the Duval County Courthouse where this man tried to make a run for it rather than submit to a drug test. Tyrone Gant was in court to be arraigned on drug charges. When he was ordered to take a drug test, he ran. Bailiffs quickly tackled him and used a taser to subdue him. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris is joining us live from the courthouse downtown. And Janice, Gant is now in jail. Yes, now Tyrone Gant is in jail and he can add yet another charge to the list of charges he was supposed to face and discuss in court today during his arraignment. Tuesday morning, Tyrone Gant was at the Duval County Courthouse for an arraignment on multiple drug charges. According to court records on December 5th, 2022, Gant was arrested on Phillips Highway at the Scottish Inn Hotel for possession of fentanyl, cocaine, meth, marijuana and prescription drugs, in addition to improper window tint. While Tyrone Gant was in courtroom 308 this morning, a drug test was ordered and bailiffs were supposed to take him into custody. Gant decided to run out of the room. Bailiffs responded quickly. He was pursued by the officers from the courtroom and then eventually he was tased and taken into custody inside the hallway. After Gant was detained, a bag of drugs was found on him, adding to the multiple other drug possessions that Gant was already facing in court. And Gant will be back in court for his first pretrial hearing on February 7th. In addition to that, he has said he is not guilty on all of his drug charges. Reporting live at the Duval County Courthouse, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station. And Janice, it was a busy day at the courthouse. There were also two other unusual incidents. Yes, uh, earlier in the morning, there was a woman who actually collapsed and died. She was taken to the hospital, but she did pass away. And there was also a traffic crash that happened right in front of the courthouse as well. All of these were separate incidents, but it was a very bizarre day here at the Duval County Courthouse. All right, Janice Harris reporting to us live. Janice, thank you.